chưa? Điểm nắng ở phủ luôn, nắng ở đây. Đâu vậy? chắc đã ăn được đấy Vì lợi ích của nhân dân hai nước và mong muốn tăng cường hợp tác vì hòa bình, hợp tác và phát triển bền vững trong bối cảnh mới, tôi và Ngài Tổng thống Joe Biden đã thay mặt hai nước vừa quyết định thông qua tuyên bố chung nâng tầm quan hệ Việt Nam-Hoa Kỳ lên đối tác chiến lược toàn diện 
vì hòa bình, hợp tác, phát triển bền vững. Vietnam is a critical power in the world and a bellwether in this vital region. And I look forward to continuing this new chapter in the story of our nation. We're working to tackle the climate crisis and to accelerate Vietnam's clean energy transition, strengthening global health security, and advanced treatments for cancer and HIV AIDS. Enhance our security cooperation, including countering trafficking in persons. I also raise the importance of respect for human rights as a priority for both my administration and the American people, and we'll continue to our candid dialogue on that regard. And 10 years ago, when I was Vice President, we reached a new milestone for the launch of our initial comprehensive partnership. I'm incredibly proud of how our nations and our people have built trust and understanding over the decades and worked to repair the painful legacy that war left on both our nations. sincere about getting the relationship right. And one of the things that is going on now is China is beginning to change some of the rules of the game uh, in terms of trade and other issues. And so one of the things we talked about, for example, is that they're now talking about making sure that uh, no Chinese, uh, no one in the Chinese government can use a Western cell phone, um, those kinds of things. And so, really, what this trip was about it was less about containing China. I, I, I don't want to contain China. I just want to make sure we have a relationship with China that is on the up and up, squared away. Everybody knows what it's all about. And one of the ways you do that is you make sure that we are talking about the same things. And uh, I think that one of the things we've done, I've tried to do, and I've talked with a number of my staff about this for the last I guess six months, is we have an opportunity to strengthen alliances around the world to maintain stability. That's what this trip was all about. Having India cooperate much more with the United States, be closer with the United States, Vietnam being closer with the United States, it's not about containing China. It's about having a stable base, a stable base in the Indo-Pacific. Out and the bottom up. When that happens, everybody does well. And all the effort we've advanced from day one of my administration to demonstrate to our Indo-Pacific partners and to the world, the United States is a Pacific nation, and we're not going anywhere. And I've talked with a number of my staff about this for the last, I guess, six months. We're not looking to decouple from China. What I'm not going to do is I'm not going to sell China material that would enhance their capacity to make more nuclear weapons, to engage in defense activities that are contrary to what is viewed as most people think was a positive development in the region. And uh, But we're not trying to hurt China. Roads of disaster here as we have. And so it seems that if we have the economic capacity, I think that uh, Prime Minister Xi, I mean, she has some uh, uh, some difficulties right now. All countries end up with difficulties, and he has some economic difficulties. He's working his way through. I, I want to see China succeed economically, but I want to see him succeed by the rules. Figure out what to do about the particular crisis we're having now. I met with his number two person here in, in uh, excuse me, in uh, um, India uh, today. Um, so it's not like there's a 
a, a crisis if I don't personally speak to him. It'd be better if I did. But uh, I think, look, this is not a criticism. It's an observation. He has his hands full right now. He has overwhelming unemployment with his youth. One of the major economic tenets of his plan isn't working at all right now. I'm not happy for him that, but it's not working. So he's trying to figure out, I suspect, I don't know, just like I would, trying to figure out what to do about the particular crisis we're having now. But I don't think it's a crisis relating to conflict between China and the United States. As a matter of fact, I think it's less likely to cause that kind of conflict. Uh, I don't uh, – anyway, I, I just think that there are other things on leaders' minds, and they respond to what's needed at the time. And look, nobody likes having celebrated international meetings if you don't know what you want at the meeting if you don't have a game plan. He may have a game plan. He just hasn't shared it with me. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. We have a relationship with China that is on the up and up, squared away. Everybody knows those. Okay. Okay. Là... Hôm nay là ngày 11 tháng 9 Thì tôi củng bố ngày 11 tháng 9 Năm 2001 Có có Cùng với Hoa Kỳ Là một việc rất quan trọng Thank you for your sentiment Concern for You last saw each other at the G7 And uh, you emphasized that we have to come together Strengthening our economic security, climate security, health security together, driving technological innovation in both our countries. A step toward this goal today, uh, assigned in memorandum of cooperation, helps to strengthen our semiconductor and the technology system again. Just begin. Thank you, President.